so we have a motherboard here which is a uh, the Apple machine which is the board number of A202330 okay so the fault phenomenon is that it's not turning on so when I plug it as you can see the current is 20 milliamp right it goes to 40 milliamp but it's not turning on okay so first I'm gonna check the standby rails of 3 volts if 3 volts is there or not all right so I'm checking right I have 3.3 volts right five volts which is the switch which is coming after the switch now i'm going to see if i can uh turn on the machine i'm going to put the multimeter in diode mode right and i'm going to put the red probe on ground and the black probe on pin number five right as you can see the current is not moving so it's not turning on right so uh pause ready mm -hmm. all right so the next standby rail which is 1.05 volts right which is here and i'm only getting 0 0.3 volts Right, this should be 1.05 volts. So there's two standby. This is an NVIDIA chipset. So 3.3 volts, 1.05 volts, right? If any fault on those two standby rails, no trigger fault will come. Can't turn on. All right, so I'm going to use a oscilloscope. oscilloscope on the fault area of the, on, the, the, on the positive side of the capacitor. So I'm going to use the oscilloscope now to check, to capture the waveform to see what we get. Okay, so take a look at the screen as I plug in the oscilloscope. All right, good. So as you can see, this is a fault. There's a lot of noise and filter right here. This is indicating that the capacitor is bad and the PWM capacitor is not filtering out the, the DC supply wave and it is insufficient. So this is the case that it's a bad filter capacitor and it's right here, that filter capacitor there. Uh, schematic, as you can see, this is the NCP, which is the NVIDIA uh, MCP chip and it's a 1.05 volt rail. This is the other standby, right? So we should check here, 1.05 volt S5, right? 1.05 volt S5 with a maximum current output of 5 ampere, right, and a frequency of working frequency of 400 kilohertz. So, right, so this is L7770, and I have the board view here, and here is it L7770, right, and this is output in 1.05 volt S5, right. So, I'm going to measure. All right, so working conditions, as you can see here, we have the power supply chip which is P, no, PWM which is U7750 or U7750 first you should check here PVCC VCC which is which is a linear voltage right so it gets PV in S0 underscore 1.05 volt S5 coming to pin number one then it will release VCC to power VCC this is going to turn on the internal buck regulator power supply to turn on the output switching to turn on up and lower MOSFET switching so as you can see here, I have upper gate and I have lower gate. I also have a current sensing, see, for detecting the current of the inductance of the front end, right? And I have an enable pin, right? Here's an enable pin, right? And this is connected to another circuit. So let's backtrack and see where this voltage is coming from. And this is coming from a conversion circuit most times. So let me copy it and paste. All right, so as you can see, it's coming from this circuit and it is coming from SMPG underscore, SMC underscore PM underscore G2 underscore EN. When the signal comes to this uh, MOSFET, of an internal MOSFET, it will produce this voltage, right? And after passing through this 5.1K resistor R7081, it becomes PM underscore G2 underscore P105 S5 enable, and then becomes P105 volt underscore S5 enable. Right, and this is coming from our SMC. So once the SMC gets supply reset and clock and read its program, then it will automatically issue the signal to turn on the secondary standby power supply, which is going to turn on 1.05 volts. Okay, so I'm gonna check that working condition on the board. All right, so this capacitor is shorted, as you can see. So this is short, this capacitor is faulty, C771. So I'm gonna replace C771 and see what happens. So I have um, replaced the filter capacitor, right here is the, fa the faulty one, right, so I have replaced the capacitor, now let's take a look at the oscilloscope as we give power. Alright, so as you can see I have a nice smooth line now, and that's one, one volts per division, right, and as you can see each grid is one volts per division, right, so this is one, 1 1.0 volts, right, so I have uh, got it right, and uh, we're going to test in a few. Right, so I'm going to measure now if I'm going to get 1.0 volts, so I'm connecting the MagSafe. 
all right and i'm going to check i should get 1.0 volts 05 volts sorry as you can see i get 1.1 volts or 1.0 volts so this is okay so this is the voltage of the s5 state okay i'm going to trigger the board and let's take a look at the dc port up here to see if the current in changed you should get roughly 0 0.9 uh 900 milliamp and that indicates that the machine has successfully turned on so we're going to look at the dc power supply when i trigger the board so i'm going to put it on my meter and diode mode red probe on brown black probe on pin number five as you can see it's now 1.4 1.4 and i've got what 1.4 amp 1.4 ampere so that indicates that's a done repair okay